Mr. Fisher, are you in the mood for chess? My fellow Democrats, to lead us to a fruitful America, to a peaceful world for mankind everywhere, is the great senator from the state of Massachusetts, John F. Kennedy. Will the chairman of the delegations kindly give me your attention? Massachusetts cast 41 votes for the next President of the United States, John F. Kennedy. <laughs> New York, 114 votes. Mr. Chairman, Mayor Wagner, Chairman of the Delegation, Senator Johnson, three and one half votes. Senator Kennedy, 104 and a half votes. <laughs> Pennsylvania, 81 votes. Pennsylvania casts four votes for Senator Johnson, 68 votes for Senator Kennedy. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Wyoming's vote will make a majority for Senator Kennedy. to you at this time, Mrs. Joseph P. Kennedy, proud mother of our distinguished nominee, Mrs. Kennedy. And also Senator Kennedy's sister, Mrs. Peter Lawford. And I can assure all of you here who have reposed this confidence in me that I will be worthy of your trust. We will carry the fight to the people in the fall, and we shall win. demonstrated that under adverse circumstances he can be a great leader and if you nominate him he will in November bring the elements of Democrats from one end to the other of this country together I therefore with confidence with faith in your judgment and your patriotism nominate for the Democratic Party's leader in 1960 Lyndon B. Johnson of Texas
I rise with deep emotion and great pride to second the nomination of the next President of the United States, a great leader and our great friend, the Honorable Lyndon B. Johnson. Mr. Chairman, it's President of the United States. We stand in this year of decision with great challenges that must be met. Challenges that call for vigorous, courageous, to you can bring it to our people in the world in these definable terms and bring courage and drive and dedication at a time when it's desperately called for in America and the world. And as a part of this, Hubert Humphrey. Now, Minnesota and the delegate to this convention did some real soul searching on all of these nominees. I read what is said about them. Soul searching that the man that I am about to present to you is the one who could provide the kind of leadership that our land needs. As we look to this, that responsibility to lead us to a fruitful America, to a peaceful world for mankind everywhere, is the great senator from the state of Massachusetts, John F. Kennedy. <laughs> 